We're in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 35, and it's a crazy interesting story about this group of people called the Rechabites. They're kind of a, a group that perhaps even John the Baptist might have come from. They're, they're very uh, campy, so to speak. They live in tents. They, well, well, listen to what it says in Jeremiah, chapter 35, verse 1. The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord in the days of Jehoiakim, the son of Josiah, king of Judah. Go to the house of the Rechabites. Speak to them. Bring them into the house of the Lord, into one of the chambers, and give them wine to drink. What? God's wanting to bring the Rechabites in and get them drunk? Give them wine to drink? Here's the deal with the Rechabites. Listen to what it says. He brings them in sets before the sons of the Rechabites bowls full of wine and said, drink. But they said, we don't drink wine. For Jonab, the son of Rechab, our father, commanded us, saying, you shall drink no wine, you nor your sons, forever. So what is God doing? Is God trying to get the Rechabites to disobey their heritage, to disobey their principles? No, here's the deal. God is testing the Rechabites and he's also making a point. And here's the point. The Rechabites were willing to obey their fathers, to obey their traditions, to obey their rituals. But the Israelites from Judah and from Jerusalem were not even willing to obey the Lord. So he's using this as a picture God is in Jeremiah 35 to say, hey, these Rechabites, they will keep the commands of their traditions but you Israelites will not even keep the commands of the Lord. Thus says the Lord in Jeremiah chapter 35, verse 13, the God of Israel, go and tell the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, will you not receive instruction to obey my words, says the Lord. And here's what he does. He contrasts the Rechabites with those from Judah and Jerusalem and said, these guys, they don't even do anything they're not supposed to do, but you do everything you're not supposed to do. And so what he does, he tests the Rechabites, knowing their heart will be true. And then he says, look, you guys, they're willing to even obey their fathers. You won't even obey me. And sometimes I think, you know, we'll obey the speed limit. We'll obey certain rules and rituals that go on in our culture but we sometimes don't even obey the Lord. And this is an amazing picture in the book of Jeremiah chapter 35 where God tests the Rechabites to show that they won't do anything that they feel the Lord through their fathers told them not to do. But Israel, they do everything they're not supposed to do. And the question is, where do we land in that? Oh, I'll keep the speed limit, I'll do this, I'll do that, whatever the culture or the government says to do. But what is it that the Lord says for you and I to do with our lives, with our heart, with our time, with our energy, with all the resources He's given us? Do we obey tradition or rules more than we obey the heart of the Lord Himself? That's a great lesson from Jeremiah chapter 35.